I'd be more than happy to whip you up a meal, but nothing comes for free now, does it? The farm wasn't always looking a mess like this. You can thank the goblins for that. I'd be more than happy to whip you up a meal, but nothing comes for free now, does it? I'll be more than happy to handle the cooking, though I know most of your harvest has already gone out to Velia. Aline, be a deer and scrounge up some potatoes from the field, and your company can get the chicken porridge started. I'm not sure if we've got any hearty potatoes left. It's not the first time goblins have made a mess of our field. I'm not sure if we've... The aroma. Oh, it reminds me of my grandmother's steamed potatoes. That didn't take too long, right? <laughs> I have good senses. Good. Now that our stomachs are full, let's try putting our heads together. Giath chose a body that's been dead for quite some time. According to what I know of nature, the body should have decomposed already. So how do you think he got around that? Oh, that reminds me of something Father taught me last week in class. It was something on alchemy used to track time. I remember it because I really struggled with the reagents. Clorence said something like, Eileen, what good's a head if you don't even use it? Then she said, um, what did she say? Uh, Eileen, you're so stupid you'd flip over an hourglass to check the time. Oh, right! Sands of time! Using Papa's special recipe, it's possible to restore the flow of time where it's been halted. Ah, uh, but it's difficult to get the materials. Only black stones of a purity of at least 73% will work. Papa brought some such stones to class last week, but I think, uh, I used them all up. <laughs> Color me surprised. I should have brought Florence along. She would have come up with another plan, surely. I'm sorry. I'm not Clorence. I think you're crossing the line here, Takros. My grandfather will hear of your behavior. Eileen, don't give up. There is always a way. We will find it together. Well... I... I suppose certain ingredients can be substituted. But we'd need a... an object one would sacrifice their life for. A goblin's horn should do then, I imagine. Can't understand why the bastards are so obsessed with us. <laughs> Here! Uh, 